Bracket that Yahawa, Bracket that Yahawa Shai, Bracket that Yahawa, Bracket that Yahawa Shai, Bracket that Yahawa, Bracket that Yahawa Shai. Call Halal Lai, Yahawa Bashim Yahawa Shai. That's Hebrew. Interpret, bless Yahawa, bless Yahawa Shai. All praises to the Father Yahawa in the name of the Son, Yahawa Shai. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect. Scattered abroad, teaching his word, its sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, this is going to be a quick notice. Um, I don't know if brothers uh, know about this yet, or brothers probably do. Um, I was given a heads up from the brother in the camp, the brother Shah. And, um, you know, at first, you know, I, you know, I got time to watch it. I watched the first episode. You know, I'm not going to spoil you anything, but I watched the first episode. And at first, you know, I was like, this is some bullshit. But then as I watched it, you know, it's spiritual. You know, and, and I know brothers that's in the knowing, brothers of the whole four elect, when you see this, you're going to point out right right in this first episode, you know, the, the spirit, you know, which is edification, you know, because whoever directed this movie or wrote this movie, you know, they had to, um, they had to get some inspiration from the prophets of the Lord, you know, by the men of the Lord going out, teaching his word in season and out of season, you know, um, I'm not sure the background of this movie and and why they created this. I'm shocked that uh East that Esau even allow them to have a black cast, you know, a woman, black uh, so-called black woman, you know, uh the father, uh, I forgot his name, it's the guy that played as uh uh Apollo's son. Um Michael BJ, I forgot his name. Yeah, it might come up in here. But anyway, you see it, you see the pictures. But um, you know, and the and the and the kid itself is uh and is, is an Israelite, you know. Um, I'm not sure. I see the cast, I see the actor that's playing the role, and then it looks like an actual boy that the story could be about, you know, brothers could dig further into this. I think it is a comic book. I'm not sure, but you know, I'm just putting this on notice in the spirit, putting it out there. I watched the first episode. It's pretty good. It looked like something I want to continue to watch and see where it go. But um, it's the spirit, man. Hey, we at the time where, you know, hey, the Lord has given us, you know, more visions and more faith that what he's there. You know, we know what the scriptures say that we're going to receive what spiritual powers. Those well, those who the Lord choose as his hopeful elect certain brothers going to have spiritual powers. There's a big difference than having superpowers, than spiritual powers. Spiritual powers are natural. And this kid truly had natural powers. He's a, about six, seven, eight years old. You know, he got tremendous great power at this age. You know, he, he's able to, you know, um, uh, create a storm, you know, and he can't even control it. And he don't even know how he's doing it. You know, he damn near on his, he, on his first, you know, not to be a spoiler, but he damn near almost killed his uh, mother twice by uh, his spiritual powers. You know, he didn't have to conjure up any demons. He had to do witchcraft. This is what's going to be given to the elect, man. Spiritual powers, man. All right. This is, a, uh, you know, it's pretty dope. At first I was dissing it because I saw, you know, he saw he always try to make it Edomite ish, you know, but. It's Jake playing a role, finally, you know, and, you know, it's pretty good. It got, it looked like it got some more, uh, into something more entertaining to it and plus edification and you're going to get edification right when you see the first episode. But, um, as you see, it says raising Dion, we all know what it should say, raising it, uh, Zion, you know, Zion, which is, uh, Another name for Israel, which means what monument means to remember, you know, the Lord, the Lord uh, is allowing us today to remember who we was before, you know, we was uh, taken captives by our enemies, mainly by Esau. All right. And also being dispersed through the four corners. See, you people have to realize who you truly are. And I'm talking to the so-called Negroes. West Indians, Haitians, Hispanics, and Native and Seminole Indians. You are the Hebrew Israelites that the Bible speaks of. All right. And you are what? Of Jacob's son's 12 tribes. 
We are one family, but we come from different tribes. All right. Um, as you see here, we go into a couple of pictures real quick. Raising Dion. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, there it is. Michael B. Jordan. That's his name. All right. You know, he's a good actor. And it's the kid that, with the powers. All right. And think, it is uh, Netflix or the superhero family drama, Raising Dion. I think this was a comic book, if I'm not mistaken. You know, I don't know the history on this, but I will look it up soon. And we'll have that information later. But you brothers got your own devices and can get into it too. If you want to, you know. It's nothing but a movie. But us, we like to watch these movies because... You know, it's edification. You know, we we know that these elites, we know that these actors, we know that these directors and producers, they all are inspired by Yahweh Bashim Shai, which is his word, you know. And with the Lord's prophets being out there to 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 uh, reveal the mysteries of the scriptures and telling you of the times that we're living in, they listening, man. You know, they listening and they're putting it in movies. You know, this is a Jake with spiritual powers, man. <laughs> but I guarantee you this video, I mean, this series ain't going to go too long because it's Jake. They always got a problem when it comes to an Israelite or, you know, an Israelite having powers and black people supporting it. Hispanics are supporting it just like they want it, you know, outdo Black Panther. They got mad with uh the guy from um the star. He star ruled in the, the star seat of... um. I always mix it up. Not Star Trek. Uh, s damn, is it Star? Not Star Trek. Uh, Space. Yeah, I forgot that shit, man. Salakia. <laughs> but uh, you get the drift, man. All right. So you know, this just a notice. Salakia. I'm gonna pull one scripture. You know, uh, Isaiah chapter forty, and uh, let's start. Uh, let's. Start, let's get to the point. I start at 27. It says, Why sayest thou, O Jacob, and speakest, O Israel, my way is hid from the Lord, and my judgment is passed over from the from my from my God? Has thou not known, has thou not heard that the everlasting God, which the word God can also be placed as power, because he is our power, all right? That the everlasting God, the Lord Yahweh, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. All right. And this is talking. This is Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. This is our creator, the father, Yahweh. Okay. You know, when people think today that the Lord doesn't exist. Well, you, 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 a. Hey, well, you got a uh, you you in the wrong spirit, because the Lord does does exist, man. All right, let me read that again. Has thou not known? Has thou not heard that the everlasting God, the Lord Yahweh, the Creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might, he increases strength. Even the youths shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utter, utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord Yahweh shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Now that's spiritual powers, man. Those that wait upon the Lord, the Lord said he's going to do what? Renew their strength. All right. They shall have uh, wings to uh, mount up as e as eagles. So brothers going to be able to fly, man. They shall run and not be weary. Brothers going to be able to run and never be tired, man. It says, and they shall walk and not faint. So you're going to be able to walk at a certain distance and not even be tired. Need a drink of water, man. All right. And this is why we're praying and crying out that Yahweh, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, come redeem us, man. And take us from the hands of these Edomites. We're living in Bible times whether you believe that or not. And it's going to go down 
whether you believe that or not. You know, so those of the whole for elect, I hope you were edified. Go check out this series, Netflix series, Raising Dion, which really is Raising Zion. You know, somebody was crafty, you know, slick. <laughs> but guess what? You know, the Lord has us as watchmen. We get it. We get it, man. All right. So with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakah Kodash. I like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad. Shalom.